Greetings, Goblins and Geist. I'm Jake. And I'm Blake. And welcome to The, the Cloud, Cloud Post. Post. So today we are shuffling up some standard Magic the Gathering on Arena. Yeah, we got some brew and brew going on today. And today we're playing some Goblins, which seems like a fun time. Absolutely. I'm a little upset with the choice of the background here, but hang on, we're going to change it real quick. There we go, now it's a Goblin. Okay. All right, and uh, today's brew, we have... Oh man, you're gonna have to Yes, we me. have a brew um, from Burial Brewing again. So you may have seen us go to this well more than one time, but kind of a sucker for some burial. But it's an IPA There's and a bird uh, with, a, with a with a hand. Yeah, the name of this is the Clandestine Quest of Wayward Creatures. Well, hopefully we have a quest for these creatures. Absolutely, Let's crack these bad boys open. All right, all right. The ASMR is real. Cheers. Cheers. That is a winner. Oh, Absolutely delicious. Super delicious. All right. Well, so we will be downing these em. bad boys. You uh, do know how to pick them. I gotta oh, yeah. Down. We will be downing these bad boys as we run a bunch of goblins out onto the field. So I, I'm a little uh, I'm a little questioning on this deck because I played goblins before Candy Gala came out, mm -hmm. which was pretty fun. I, I just love the D&D &D goblins. There's a lot of those oh, good yeah. guys in here. Um, but so back when I played it, uh, there's a few things I see differently already, and... You you, you you found this list like on the FNM page kind of thing? Yeah, so you know on the home page of your MTG Arena client, when you go to the latest deck list. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's like, it's like a latest deck list thing. Yeah. Got you. Um, so, you know, I, I played like a very similar deck to this. Mm. I mean, I love goblins. They're, they're just fun to play. Yeah, I like, uh, you know, we both like aggro decks, you know. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> just Art, swinging. Swinging with, swing, swinging with some uh, little gobbies is always a good time. Mm -hmm. But like I said, so mine was different. I mm -hmm. see you're running like removal. Yeah, but the removal I ran was also pingable. Like you're not running play with fire, That's right? Really confusing to me. But also, hey, I mean, if, if flame best bolt is better, is there a reason you you know? Well, it does exile the creature. Yeah. Um, and play with fire does not. So I guess that does get rid of like some of the enchantment things, like the that creature, the green one that always comes back when you play an enchantment. Yeah, um, it also exiles you know things in like the um black decks that are popular now oh, like yeah. uh the the, the new the recurring blitz creature yeah yeah the little uh the little guy who drives your car the little free one is that right um well, i can't remember his name wow he's we're, like, he's, we're blanking he's on like his the name, guy but... in the freaking uh the, the wrestling pit what's his name yeah underdog underdog tenacious underdog yeah we're we're here for it ladies and, and we, we gents know. we haven't even started um, on the brews yet we haven't even we've barely broken these brews but yes so you know and and i will that say this being a brew and brew we're crediting um we actually couldn't find the deck builder's name for this we but, did search for it i mean but uh we did try to search for it but whoever the creator of this exact list we're just going with their exact list verbatim and we're doing best of one so we're not worrying about their yeah. sideboard so you got uh, so they got the flame based flame blessed bolt i was one yep. flame ba based i don't know why <laughs> i mean yeah. he's getting basted so it's yeah like, yeah like a turkey but uh, yeah you're running this it's like an instant speed you know pillar of flame but yeah you can't go face yeah so that, that's the only thing i thought was a little strange but hey that makes sense um yeah fire blade charger fire blade charger Stupid is is cool now there are other one drop standard goblins um the javelier i, I ran see i ran the javelier in my yeah deck, and my he's build. good but this once he's, you do have a lord out yeah, this, this effect of it goes, dying can go fake. Goes big. Uh, so the other, the Javelier was good in the format we were playing mm. at the time. I don't know how good he would be now thinking to it. Like, there's a yeah. lot of big stuff in the format. Right. Anything with the fat butts just doesn't matter. Right. Um, Cyclone Hazard, always good. Yep. That's a your you know standard you're gonna see modal double face card always good. Um, and that of course can go face. I love but, the art yeah. for the card. The guy did not have to go that hard because like oh, very every, terrifying. Every time I see it, I'm just like. That doesn't seem like a bad time, right? Between the Olna and the Radius, man, that's yep. just... <laughs> so this deck, you don't always have a turn one play. Um, but, you have a lot of time, though. But, like, you got you a know, lot of options. Yeah, yeah you got options. So you got a stack two slot. There's not as many two-drop creatures as you might think, but this one is by far the best, yeah, um, battle the Battle Cry Goblin. Goblin. And, of course, he's been around for a minute. He's very good. Yeah. This card's very good. It's probably just, like one of the reasons the deck works. It is, because we're going to get into it later, but... The activated ability on this is is huge in yeah, this deck with it, some of the new goblin amazing. cards. This is the this is the reason I ran the deck in standard right when uh, the dragon the the D and D set came out. And I was yeah. like, oh, I got I got to play with this card. This is a really fun goblin. Like he looks super cool. Yeah, and that ability is insane. 
And you told me a second ago there's a combo with it in this one. We'll, we'll go over that in a minute. Yeah, we will be getting to that. Now, you are running um, two cathartic pyres. Some, yeah, so this is a nice, flexible, yeah, obviously, you, three damage to a creature, a planeswalker. Yeah, we love this but card. We do. With a with a red deck, you always run the risk of kind of fizzling out. Which sucks. And this deck is really trying to run, in my opinion, five... Um, five to seven cards so that you don't fizzle out or run out of gas, okay. which is these Cathartic Pyres, yeah. three Reckless Impulse, All right. yeah. which uh, you actually find plenty of good spots to cast this, in my opinion, mm -hmm. um, which is, you know, just exile the top two and you may play them. Um, and we will get to a three drop that helps you in the same vein. You're running Thundering Rebuke as a three of... I love that card. Great removal spell. Yeah, just uh, clears out a lot of things in the format. You know, namely, Goldspan Dragons. You know, there's plenty of Does four toughness in. or less things, but yeah. obviously that's a high percentage of the meta. Um, and you're running Hobgoblin Captain, which this card's okay. I've seen um, it. Yeah, he, he, the first strike is cool, and he's, yeah. he's a 3-1 for 2. Yeah, Not bad. I mean, w if you're getting the pack tactics, it's really good. Yeah. It's honestly yeah. fine. It's like, okay, this this could be an uncommon when you're swinging with the first strike, but otherwise, it's it's still serviceable. Solid 3-1. Yep. Yeah. And so your three drops, you've got some cool ones. We'll start at the bottom. We've got Hulking Bugbear. It's a 3 of. Okay. It's just solid. Yeah. Three, you know, three, three, three it's a haste. goblin, this card and it's haste. Yep. Yeah. And simple, easy. Yeah, power and toughness. You know, it's good rate. You're getting to run the. Um, you got to run the Lord. Hobgoblin Bandit Lord, which so is there a is reason awesome. Three of them, you know. No, and see, like the numbers. As far as the numbers on this deck, it's a, it's a good question. Why, you know, because this isn't even a legendary Lord. No, it's not. That's why I was curious. Um. So it's it's. I just guess the fact that you would have to take you know one less of something else, and they found that maybe there's a good balance of the burn spells and. Huh. Um, okay. But yeah, if you haven't seen this card, obviously all of your other goblins get plus one, plus one, which is great. Um, but its okay. activated ability comes in a lot where you might not think. So, yeah. you know, um, that is to any target. So that, that is, is a late game thing bad. where if you're just you putting face, goblins, yeah. yeah, you can deal damage to them. Now you're running two of the Chandra Dress to Kill. Super good Chandra. Yeah. Especially if you're burning. Like if you want to burn, she's your, she's your burn lady. Yep. But the other plus one, if you're not getting the mana and the damage, is the same, you know, so, idea as the Cathartic Pyre yeah, or the Reckless really Impulse. Options of cards to play. Exactly. And then I mean, hey, if you if you get to seven, cool. Yep. I mean, and one card that is a four of, and of course, all over standard, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Gotta love it. I love this art too. This one's cool. You got a yeah. good one. I like this. Any, Mid range decks run this card. Any deck that runs red very likely runs this card. When Blake played Goblins, this yeah. was not a card yet. It was not a card yet. And I'm, I'm bummed that it wasn't. Because right. this has got to be some fun, especially with the, uh, the Battle Card Goblin, like you were saying. Exactly. So this, you know, the decks that play, a lot of decks that play this card, they don't care that these, the tokens that this makes are. Uh, goblins yeah. but guess what they're goblins. they're goblins so this is this is perfect for yeah, this deck you get, you get they get pumped goblins. by your bandit lord they do they uh they synergize with the battle cry goblin so getting, just to give oh, you an example the tiki -tiki haste exactly so the thing is i've had a game state where okay you've already had the first you know uh token the two two goblin shaman give you a treasure mm -hmm. later game you've you've got maybe four or five lands you know six sometimes perfectly reasonable for this deck to still be playing yeah, yeah. um but then you know you get to the turn where this transforms into the reflection of kiki jiki and then this activated ability alone makes that token gain haste because it is a goblin shaman yeah, and then you could just copy another thing or go hard with it so. yeah and this deck really the only cool. non-goblin creature you're running is a three of of Goldspan Dragon. Which, I mean, come on. If you're playing D&D &D stuff, you got to bring dragons into it. That's a good point. Even though this dragon is from Kaladesh, I didn't run this in my deck at the time. Um, mm -hmm. Probably the wrong choice. Yeah. So good. Seems I think this so is good. just too powerful of a card to omit. You're only playing three of them. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that example, and I told Blake before we uh, started recording this, that example of a game state I've had where late game I had a Goldspan out, I've had a Battlecry Goblin out, and I've transformed the Fable. Well, that turn, that activated ability get another God, or God gives dragon you another out. Goldspan Dragon. Oh, and, that, so and you'll win off of it. So, you know, those are uh, anecdotal examples, but... Um, other than that, this deck is just fun. Oh, hang on, you forgot about the dens, man. Yeah, we do have a very simple and sleek mana base. You're running 21 lands other than these spike fields. 
You're running two den of the bugbear. Any reason the snows is just snows for fun. Well, I just yeah, I just did the snows because I like the art. That's a cool art. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it's just 19 mountains, two den of the bugbear. So, you know, the cool thing about this deck is it's oh. not a super lot of rares. Hang on a second. Go to the sideboard real quick. Yeah. I feel like you have frostbites in here, right? No, you don't. I'm surprised. Like I didn't put frostbite in. I just yeah. assumed there would be one in here for the snow. Interesting. But, and know. I think I I took two cards out because I didn't craft them, but. Uh, but yeah, no, this deck is, um, I will preface this by saying I've tested this a good amount, yeah. um, but I mean, it can't it's be not it's just great. A, it's just a fast red aggro deck. Yep. Um, it has certain matchups that feel very hard, what are like the, what are the best Black set? White Angels. Oh, Angels are rough. I like, can see it because of life gain and whatnot. Yeah. The life gain, but they have that enchantment that just makes four fours. And, yeah. You know. Um, well, let's see if we can beat around it. We got the Thundering Rebukes. Yeah, we do have a way to kill four damage things. So. Well, let's uh, let's give it a shot. And uh, you know, uh, I like the deck, and I like the beard. And if you like the deck, you like the options of us winning or losing games next time. Uh, maybe you should like the video, give us a thumbs up on that, subscribe to the channel, and we'll give you more goodies. Promise, promise. So check out the games. Thank you.